the set against the Cytonics. Unfortunately, didn't have enough in the end, but he's still alive in loser's bracket. Meanwhile, J Scorp playing that snake, representing the C4 crew. Man, oh man, this is hopefully going to be a very, uh, excuse the pun, explosive matchup. Oh boy. I don't know if I can excuse that pun. That being said, we are going to get right into the combat. All right, man, straight into the jungle, right? <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. So this is uh, another top 64 qualifier match, but this time on the loser's bracket side. So already off the bat, fireworks are flying. Like I said, explosive matchup, man. <laughs> Oh, uh, we already did just see Sibaye uh, bucket the explosion from uh, J Scorp's grenade, and his bucket is at one bar. If he manages to fill that up, that could be a waft light comeback tool. Oh, absolutely. Especially, especially useful against Snake, because Snake is such a thick boy, very hard to take out sometimes. And having that oil in his back pocket is going to be so huge. That being said, uh, Sibaye already has Snake pretty close to kill percent. If he can manage to pull off maybe a uh, down smash forward smash. Uh, and that is a full oh, bucket. Will so Sibaye doing such a good job already of playing the matchup. It seems like he clearly knows what he's doing against Snake. Oh, absolutely. The amount of Wi-Fi Snakes he's had to face. He definitely knows exactly how to play this still. Oh no, he's gonna get caught by that C4, losing the bucket, and J-Scorp gonna be breathing a sigh of relief. Oh no, I don't know what I'm talking about. Bucket persists through death. I'm crazy. So right now we are just <laughs> watching J- uh, sorry, watching c by just do a bit of uh, light juggling. Um, uh, just to let you guys know, while this juggling goes on, uh, after this set, that'll this will be our last stream set until the uh, until top 64, uh, which will start at 7 o'clock Eastern time, so in about 10 minutes. So if this match does not take up all of our time until then, we will have another very brief intermission until top 64 begins. Yeah, absolutely, and we'll even see if he has another bucket in his back pocket. Didn't even need it to take that stock. Nice little down smash. And now up 2-1, just 55% too. Really starting to pull away. So yeah, right now, uh, Sibaye doing a really, really, really good job of just shutting down all of the options that Snake has, using the bucket to catch explosions, making sure that he can't get in close to do what he wants to do, uh, only taking a little bit of damage. And yeah, that bucket is going to kill it like, what, 40? Yeah, fast fall into bucket to take out J Scorp in game number one. Two bucket kills. Two. Yep. Oh, it's very impressive. Again, it's it's uh CBIA playing the matchup. He knew that mm -hmm. Snake was going to rely on a lot of projectiles uh, in order to do damage, and he said, Alright, you're gonna give me a kill tool, I'll take the kill tool. So Absolutely. uh CBIA definitely doing a really, really good job there, uh not just knowing what to do, but also executing on it near flawlessly uh, in order to take that win. So as these two prepare for game two, we will see a switch to Pokemon Stadium 2. So we'll see if perhaps uh, being able to make use of platforms will make any difference uh, in how that game one went. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, shout outs to Chad. Excellent point being made. Um, Snake, the Snake player in this matchup does need to try and rely uh, a little less heavily on the grenades. And obviously that's a hard habit to get out of because your grenades are such a vital part of your moveset as Snake. I mean, they are integral to playing Snake uh, at, at like a basic level, but yeah. J-Score going to have to try and get away from that and rely more on some of his normals. I, I usually, I like to say uh, when we saw this with J-Score playing earlier when he was against that, uh, the uh, Ridley player, um, so there are two kinds of snakes. There's CQC snakes and there's explosive snakes. Uh, J Scorp is most definitely an explosive snake. He, he relies a lot on his, his B button. He likes pressing that big shiny red button. Um, and against a player like Sibaye who knows the matchup and knows how to take advantage and use his grenades against him, J Scorp has to be able to break that habit or he's going to suffer like he did in that game one. 
Yeah, absolutely. It's all about adaptation, and, and sometimes there are certain players who just aren't comfortable uh, having to adapt in a way that like radically changes the play style. It's also the, the reason why a lot of players have pocket picks. Uh, sometimes you're, the way you play a character is just so ingrained that you can't adapt with that character, so you switch to another one. All right, Jace Corp trying to make this work, though, and uh, pretty even first stock, although facing their own way with the up tilt. T-Bay going to get a little bit of punish off that. Catching, that's the first bucket explosion of the game, but he is going to give him the chair, take him to the WWE, and take care of that first stock. Yeah, nice little F tilt. Send him on his merry way. Stupang A though, 85%. I mean, Game & Watch, extremely lightweight. One of his biggest weaknesses is just how easy it is to actually finish him off. Something Still. I'm wondering right now, does Snake F Smash count as an explosion? Can Game & Watch bucket that? I don't think anybody's uh, saucy enough to try and find out. <laughs> I'm sure it does, but actually doing that, oh my god, the Barry F Smash J-Score will survive. Perfect DI right there. But the, ups, oh, the invincibility up smash is going to take care of him right there. The diving helmet. Oh, man. Love that up smash. Most players have to play against it don't, though, for uh, pretty obvious reasons. The iframes, as you mentioned, so safe. Oh, he went for the hammer, but hit the one instead of the nine. Unlucky. I'll go for it again. I bet he will, too. Either that or we'll see another bucket kill. There it is. Bucket is full, ladies and gentlemen. He just needs to hit him with it. Bucket full. Hit him with the eight and then hit him with the bucket. <laughs> he's he's looking for it. He's ready. Bucket will shield break <laughs> as well. Standing there. Menacingly. J Scorp really has to play careful right now because Bucket's going to shield oh, break. There it is. There it is. It's not gonna win the game though. It what won't finish the game, but it is a whole lot of damage that he would have rather avoided. Yeah, absolutely. Jay Squirp in a big hole now, barely getting out of the way to down smash. The follow-ups from Sebae are so good. And giving him the chair for the second time this game. Sebae is going to move on to top 64 and knocked Jay Squirp out of the uh, tournament. Uh, so one last recap of top 64, and then I will take us to an intermission. So winner side, we have MM Leo versus Zero to None, Enhanced PV versus Blades 207, Hisoka 96 versus Bluxious, Slime versus BR1AV, Epic Gabriel versus Mitsu, Hero versus Gaming High 9x9, Meister versus Grey Clash, Hen versus Raflo, Varun versus Cytonic, Skittles versus Ye, Crooks versus WebJP, Zubat versus Trisavon 69. Super Striker versus Grayson, Pokelam versus Player Seven, Wrath versus Zen, and Noxumbra versus Silver. In losers bracket, uh, most of the matches are still in the process of filling up, but filled we already have more Salsa versus Chunky Kong, Shua versus Murney, Just the Ice versus So Good Pop, Skew versus Air Swimmer, Cern versus Urameshi, Key versus the Mighty Dialga, Mr. L versus Junior, 